It's Chris Smith time. Oh, hello everybody. It's me, Chris Smith. Um, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Secret Garden, which I saw, I'm ashamed to say, I saw it on Sunday, February 26th, 2023. And you know, as of this taping, it's already the 19th of of March. So, what have I been doing all this time? But yes, you know, sometimes it takes us a long time to talk about things, to get our thoughts together. But yes, I saw The Secret Garden, the musical. Um, and you know, it's concluding its run at the Amundsen Theater in beautiful Los Angeles on March 26th. So there's still a week of performances left. And I must say, I had never seen The Secret Garden. I had never read the book. The book um, of The Secret Garden, it's a children's novel, if you don't remember. It's by Frances Hodge, Hodgson Burnett. And that thing must have come out in, oh, the early 1900s, 1911 or something like that. And it um, was made into a musical that came out on Broadway in 1991 and ran for 709 performances. Um, and I really didn't know very much about The Secret Garden. I knew what it was about, of course. And all I knew is from the Tony Awards when little Daisy Egan won the Tony for Best Featured Actress in a Musical. And she thanked her agent and everyone laughed because a little girl was thanking her agent, which I think is very nice. She had manners. But you know, and I believe Daisy Egan was the youngest Tony recipient at that time. I don't know if she still holds that record. Alexa, uh, check on that for me. Now the music is by Lucy Simon, the late Lucy Simon, who died um, months ago and um, is the sister of Carly Simon, you know. Uh, the lyrics are by Marcia Norman, and the book is by Marcia Norman as well. And, um, and this version, of course, has a new director than what they had on the Broadway. It's directed and choreographed by Warren Carlyle, music supervision and additional arrangements by Rob Berman. Now, here is the program. This is actually a very sumptuous production. It has a great cast, including Sierra Vargas as Lily Craven, young Emily Jewel Hodder, Hodder, as Mary Lennox, Derek Davis as Archibald Craven. Here everybody is. Aaron Lazar as Dr. Neville Craven. Julia Lester, who just did Into the Woods on Broadway, um, playing Martha the Chambermaid. And, of course, John Michael Lyles as her brother Dickon. Now, that's the main characters in the cast. And, as I said, it really is a sumptuous production. Everything is very beautiful. It's like a big, big Broadway show. I know this, this production is probably aiming to go to Broadway. I haven't heard yet if it is actually going to get there. Or if it's going to be doing a tour. So as of now, all I know of is the Los Angeles production. But of course, you don't go to all this trouble just for a one city production now, do you? Now here's little Mary Lennox. Her family, all and everybody she knows really, all die from a cholera outbreak in India. So she's sent to live with her uncle. Here's her uncle, and he is a broken man who's very depressed. He has a big 
beautiful mansion in Yorkshire, in England, and he is very sad because his wife died, Lily, and he has a young son who's very sickly, and he keeps him in a room, and his um, Archibald's brother is the doctor, Dr. Neville Craven, and he's treating the young boy and sort of keeps him locked up and doesn't let him have any fun or really any visitors. And the little boy is just a rotten, miserable little boy, as anyone would be. And Archibald has, um, has locked the garden. It's a secret garden, if you will. It was his beloved wife Lily's garden. And after she died, he was just too sad to to go into the garden or let anyone. So he had it just sealed off and locked. But little Mary Lennox finds the key. And with the help of Dickon, she starts rejuvenating that that garden. And spoiler alert, really... Everyone, the whole house. Now, the set is very strange. It has, I mean, it's its beautiful to look at, but it has this big DNA-type thread, a thread, that's what I called it, that stays on the stage the whole time. That's a um, an early production design. So, isn't that a beautiful, a beautiful rendering, though? Um... But yes, it stays on the stage the whole time. And I found it rather distracting. Here is Julia Lester, who played Martha the Chambermaid, as I mentioned. Um, you know her from, as I said, from Into the Woods on Broadway. She played Little Red Riding Hood. And she also is in um, um, High School Musical, the, ser the musical, the series. So on uh, Disney Plus, and she to me she really stole the show. She has some great moments, some great songs, and of course the little girl playing um, Mary Lennox is very good too. I mean everybody is very good. I really have never bought this this cast recording. Isn't that strange? I have a lot of cast recordings, and this is one that I for some reason just never bought I never ha I never bought the CD yes CD I still like buying CDs and it's so hard now because so many people just stream everything I, as I've told you before I like to hold a CD in my hand now here's the inside of the program who does the the costumes are great Anne Hould Ward, scenic design, Jason Sherwood. The lighting design is Ken Billington and Brian Monahan. Sound design, Dan Moses Schreier. I mean, everybody is top-notch behind the scenes and in front of the, on the stage. Here's the whole cast. An excellent company of actors. When they have the cholera outbreak that happens in India, it's almost like a ballet, and this this woman representing death dances around, and then takes the big yellow or the big red um, scarf that's like blood, and is like kill you know killing them all in a dance. Uh, it's beautifully done and quite haunting and effective. Um, I couldn't tell you any of the songs. I know that's probably terrible. I wasn't familiar with them. I didn't leave humming any, any tune. There were some very nice songs. And as I said, especially Julia Lester, um, had some great big songs. She has one called If I Had a Fine White Horse. Um... But I, w I would like to listen to the original cast recording. And, um, 
Yes. Now, I enjoyed the show. I, it was it was nice seeing a new show to me. I mean, it was... And it's been reworked some since the original production that was on Broadway in 1991. And I believe when I first came to California on a trip in 1992... Or was it... Yeah, 92. Um, it feels like there was a touring production that, had, that was parked in Los Angeles. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, of the Secret Garden. I was like, it's the Secret Garden where that that show where the little girl won the Tony, Daisy Egan. That was all I knew about it. Here was the artwork of the original, which I always thought was very, very pretty, except that scary cobra. I'm assuming that's one of the cobras from India. I don't know. Um... You know, they did a 2001 West End production. They did a 2016 West End revival. A New York concert in 2016. Um, but yes, the original show was nominated for seven Tony Awards. And it won for Book of the Musical for Marsha Norman. It won Daisy Egan, Best Featured Actress. She was also nominated up against her co-star. Alison Fraser, um, and it won for Best Scenic Design for Heidi Landisman, but um, it didn't win Best Musical, or those were the three big ones at the Tony Awards. Now, it did win Outstanding Musical at the, um, for what, the, oh, my thing is, the Drama Desk Award but for 1991. It did win Best Musical. So that's very nice. Um, so we'll see if this show progresses on. If you're in the Los Angeles area, do get downtown to the Amundsen Theater, and you can see it there through March 26th. And um, we'll talk about it when we hear what else is happening. Okay, I will talk to you next time when it's Christmas time.